I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Dells. Got a bunch of stuff that I unboxed, and then I got this package, and I was like, you know what? Let me just do like a whole video of stuff that I got. New stuff that I got. Sneakers, clothes, I even got this from this company that makes this, I don't know what the right thing is to call it, but it's for when your shoe smells funny, when it don't smell good. This is a shoe refreshener, I guess we'll call it, right? Shoe refreshener? I got a little note here. Dear DJ Dells, we believe we may have found the cure for sneaker tosis. It's unfortunate that this sneaker funk epidemic is growing. However, we are glad that more sneaker heads are rocking instead of stocking. It's important that we hit you up with this product. I don't really need this for the most part, except for like sneakers I wear like in the yard, I guess. You know, because I do my yard work. I enjoy doing yard work, you know. I'm not rich where I got people, you know, cutting my lawns all day. I cut my own damn lawn, you know. So I have shoes that smell like grass, and this stuff is hopefully going to work pretty good on it. So I'm going to try it out. Soul Science, thank you very much. I'll put their information in the description box below. And if I get some kind of code or something to hook you guys up with, I'll put that also in the description box below. And this product is the Antidot. So, and so I'm going to try this product out on the shoes I use to cut the lawn in, which are really crazy looking. Next we got some clothes. Next I got clothing from good people over at Cousins Brand. And you can use code DJ Dells to get the hookup. I had this hat and I wear it a lot in a lot of my videos. You guys, if you watch all my videos, you see me. I'm always wearing this hat. And I was shopping with my kids. And they wanted to play with my hat and wear it. And before you know it, the hat's gone. So... They were nice enough to hook me up with a new hat because I really love this hat. Like, I go out, I get so many compliments about this. They're like, what is this logo? I'm like, Cousins Brand. This is from Cousins Brand. Check them out. People are like, it's, what is that? Is that a band? Like, people are asking crazy things. Like, are you a tattoo artist? They just love this logo. It's an awesome logo. I mean, I wish they would use this more often on a lot of their stuff with Cousins Brand. That's some feedback right there. But, you know, this dad hat is awesome, and I'm happy that I was able to get a new one. And I got two shirts here. So here's both jerseys, Pablo 77, Blanco 12. Really, really love their jerseys. I have a ton of them. It's a different look. Real nice quality. You see, like, the patches, that Black Widow right there. Focus. Focus, Danielson. Hey! <laughs> got the Black Widow patch. I think they're really dope. And last but not least, I got two pairs of kicks from Saucony right here. These are two pairs from the collaboration with Bodega, which I actually went into. And I think that store is so dope. Like, everyone should go to that store if you're in Boston. And thank you, Saucony, for actually inviting me to Boston where I designed my own shoe and you know I got to go in the headquarters and see how this amazing company does what they do it was a life-changing experience it was so dope but again back to the sneakers this is one pair right here really nice suede and then you have a mixture of mesh you have your branding right there Bodega branding in the footbed. Leather, which I love. I appreciate that. Gum outsole, of course. And then here's the other pair. I like this colorway better. Definitely like that colorway better. The blue and the gray. And it's basically the same, you know, materials. The gray is the same shade, I think. Actually, you know what? I, th it's not. It's This is darker and the suede is a little different, it seems like, on this pair. I like this pair way better. This is the one. This one's not whack. I'm not saying this is whack. But if I had to choose between the two, 
is gonna be this. This is the winner right here. And this is the Shadow 5000 for you guys wondering that may not know a lot about Saucony. It's a dope runner. I love Saucony shoes. I've been rocking with them for many years now. I have tons of videos on them. I'll put a pop-up somewhere on the screen. Watch all my other Saucony videos, especially when I go to visit Saucony. It's really, really cool. You know, first brand invite me to their headquarters and I love them. I love Saucony. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for them to fly me out to their headquarters and treat me like, you know, family, it's amazing. Look inside, you have the leather inside again, your bodega branding. And as I said, I don't know the exact release date on these, but I'm pretty sure these didn't come out yet. And I just, you know, I'm blessed to share this with you guys. I'll put more information on my blog, The Sneaker Attic. Follow my social media my Twitter, my Instagram, because I always post sneaker news over there and on my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. So just go in my description box right now and check all that out. Hit the thumbs up button. It tells YouTube I got a good show and it recommends my show to other people. It helps my channel. Everyone be great out there. Subscribe if you're new. Come back tomorrow. We got videos daily. So if they don't notify you on YouTube, just come back tomorrow. I got you with a new video. With that said, we out. Hey, Dallas. At Target. Checking out this release for Star Wars Rogue One. Kid is checking out some of the stuff right now. Ooh, Kylo Ren unmasked. You like that? Yeah. That was cool. This is a new character. She's the main character. Name is Jin. I found another one that looks weird. Oh wow, they got this one? I know, I wish that guy looks really weird. I don't know who that is. This dude I think is going to be one of the breakouts of the movie. He seems like really funny, his character. He's like... Whoa. Not supposed to be funny, but he is, you know, in the movie. I think that's what it's going to be like with him. Daddy, but here's the normal figure of him. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, uh. Cool. Somebody, Seems like Target got a lot of stuff. somebody else. Who's that? Got tons of stuff. Yeah, what? Oh, that's cool. This? I really yeah, like cool. these Star Wars toys. I want another one. I like this guy. I like that guy. I got video of me over at Toys R Us also checking out the stuff they released. I'll put a pop up somewhere on the screen. Definitely check that out. Ray's life saving. Yep. Let me know what you guys think of this movie and this release as far as with the toys. With me, I'm kind of not that excited about the toys because I don't get that same connection as when Force Awakens came out because you got characters you knew about already. I really, really you don't know much about these new characters except from the trailer. Leave your comments though. And they got these helmets over here too. The Imperial Death Trooper. Cool, interactive. I seen this at Toys R Us, but I didn't get a chance to actually check it out. Some of the Star Wars Lego. I got this right here. There's a button. It just turned. Oh, that's pretty cool. It moves when you press the button. That's an awesome display. It moves. <laughs> that's cool.
Press the button again. That's awesome. Cool display.